Hi everyone, this is our project. We did a sentiment analysis and topic trends with Weibo data. The motivation of our project lies in two parts. First of all, why is it an important project? Sentiment trends can present what people care about over time and how they feel about hot topics, especially in the current time where we all feel something about the pandemic. Our project will give a data analytical solution for government business operations and marketing decisions. It will also review the emotional changes and attitudes of social groups and official accounts, as well as user behaviors across different time periods. So why is it a challenging project? First of all, we will encounter problems like user identification disruption, limited results per user, and Chinese character conversion during our crawling and scraping process. Through data pre-processing integration, we might need to consider for different data types and table types. And we also need to consider, um, think of a good comparison for data label evaluation and model prediction evaluation. So what we've done so far, the majority part for data collection and data processing is done, but we need greater volume of data. And when we get that, we can continue to, to data in integration. And with integrated clean data, we can go on to do sentiment an analysis and visualization. But the final two parts are also partly done with sample data we got right now. So in detail, what we've done for data collection is we use Python and Selenium web driver to collect data by crawling Weibo.com using certain keywords. We also scrape hot, research, hot search data through HTTP request. Through the data processing process, we use Python and Weibo pre-process toolkit to do cleaning where we scrape and format HTML raw data. And we test six different models for segmentation that use to segment simplify Chinese sentences and choose the one that performed best. For data labeling, it will separate into three parts. First, we'll manually mark positive and negative sentences, which is time consuming. And we'll also test different models for sentiment marking, which can be an inappropriate way to label data. We'll also create our own rules to label data, which will be the major work in this project and then need a way for evaluation accuracy. For sentiment analysis, we decide to use fast text model to perform training and testing. And we'll use a pre-trained model, which was trained with more than 400,000 positive and 260,000 negative manually labeled data. We'll retrain the model with our own data to see if it can perform better. For evaluation and visualization, we already made some pictures with our sample data. For labeling evaluation, there are two different ways um, by comparing the label result with the manually labeled data. For test result evaluation, we'll do two types of test evaluation. First is from pre-trained model, and the second is from retrained model using our data set. So after this milestone, we plan to refine our data pre-processing algorithms, integrate hot search data set and Weibo data set, and implement an application to perform data labeling. We're also categorized hot search data to deliver dynamic topic visualization and improve it with our interactive user interface. There are certain risks in our project. First come from data collection, because Weibo site may limit result numbers, but we will try different scripts from the Weibo site and to get as much data as possible. Another risk come from data labeling, because writing a data label program might not work due to its complication. So meanwhile, we're also outsource our data labeling process to things like Amazon Mechanical Turk or more friends of us to improve efficiency. That's it, what we've done for our milestone. Thank you for your time. Wow.